Hey guys, and welcome back to Wizard Warfare with me, Time and Tactics. So now we are up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cities on turn 112. And I made a note for myself that it's time to take our army right over here and continue towards the capital of yellow. We'll see what we can do. We have quite a few. I feel the unicorns and the bears both are quite good. And then in combination with the healers in the back, things are working out. We do have a... Scout Caliber over here. Maybe we can get an eye on the enemy to see what they have. We also have our two Slingers here, right? Yeah, we can upgrade them now. Let's go ahead and do that. And that we can do that because we have a Stables in there, right? Isn't that uh, why we can do it? Well, let's go ahead and do it. First of all, we upgrade them to Bowman. 60. Yeah, we have almost a 1,000 now. There we go. So now we have two bowmen, and they are experienced. So that's actually worth quite a bit. They can can they be upgraded later on? Well, we can check that right here. Actually, we can't check it here. Um, we have to go to the uh, encyclopedia. So bowmen, oh, bowmen. Let's see. Longbowmen. Yeah, that makes sense. In order to do that, longbowmen. What do we need? A lumber yard. A lumber yard. We don't have that in Elbury Vale, do we? We can look right here. Nope, no lumber yard. The stables is what I was talking about. Uh, horse bowman scout. Oh wait a minute, it's not. It is not. That's for horse bowman, not for bowman. Let's double check that actually while we're here. Actually, let's leave the town and go and type in bowman again. What is the requirement for that? Sawmill is the one. That's the one. Okay, that makes sense. And we do have a sawmill here, obviously. Otherwise, we couldn't do it. Let me see here. I saw it. There it is. Yep. So we're good there. Lumber yard. Do we have that available now? No, we don't. Bowman. Actually, do we already have it here? I don't think we do. So that means there's something else we need. Uh, maybe something about the population. Let's double check that too. Lumber yard. This, I do like the encyclopedia a lot. That is very, very helpful. That in combination with the with the tooltips, excellent. So you need a mason's guild and a sawmill for that. Hmm, okay. Prerequisite terrain. You need to have two forests. Okay, that's interesting. We have one. Once the city grows, then we can do it. Okay. We do have three units here gained a level. Swordsman is now level four. Battle healer is level one. And unicorn is level one. Okay, good. That's excellent. I think that's all we have to do right now. But, but let's double check over here. Our Phantom Warriors are on their way over to Ebon Shield. Good, we can have 20. I think I'm building a sawmill over here. That will give us another, what is it? 10 bow militia. And then we can get more bowmen here. And I do like that because with that wall, if we have bowmen, we can do a lot of damage. All we need is a few strong units hand to hand. Uh, actually, we'll pick them here. We can see here we have a couple of those good uh, swordsmen. You know what? I wonder. Can we upgrade them? Probably, right? Now that I think about it. Swordsman. Yeah, it's a heavy swordsman, I bet. Yep. Yep. Need a blacksmith for that. A blacksmith. A blacksmith requires a um, builder's guild. Okay, so we can get that. Can we get that right away? Yeah, we can. If we do that, we can upgrade them to a um, heavy swordsman. That might be good. I think they do more damage, right? Quite a bit more damage. Anyway, I think that's all we need to do. There was one question I had last time when I took the demon fellow. I was wondering, yeah, can I race the city? That is coming. That is not there yet, but I think uh, somebody mentioned it was coming. But And somebody else mentioned, oh, maybe it's this R button. That was somebody who didn't have the game. But no, that's where you set the rally point, and I haven't really paid attention to it, but that's what you can do. Set the rally point for the city. I think you can pick it. Yep. So where should units that you create, where should they go? But we're not going to worry too much about that. Don't think I have to do anything about that yet. Um, toggle repeat build. I can do that for military units. And what is this here? Cancel the rally point. Okay, good. So that is all we want to do, right? Everybody else is ready to go. There's one worker over here. You know what? One more thing. Let's look at our armies here. The best way I have found, I have found to look and see, let's say you want to know... How many workers do you have? Well, you can go to the ledger, but it's a little bit hard to know here. No, actually, it's, it's equally easy. You can see the symbol here, 
we have a worker. If there was a worker inside a bigger army, it would just show a flag, I think, and you wouldn't really know. But I guess normally you don't. You have the worker out on their own. So you can easily see we have two. If you go to armies, that's just a sub view of that. And we can see we have two of those workers. And they're actually over here. There's one and there's the other. We need somebody else over here, don't we? Hmm. And now here, we're not making much production, though. How long would it take us to get a worker? Uh, we can't even get a worker yet here. Okay, so we'll go to... Not Demon Fell. Let's go backwards instead here. Uh, Agro Capital here. We're doing one. Okay, we're getting one now. Okay, so we can send him over there. Actually, I was thinking about building that road, but you know, the road gives you what 10% uh, as a trade route bonus. I think it is. Might be better to just go ahead and put something in here that we can use right away in a button shield. Hmm. Maybe. Let's look at our uh, economy as well. So we are four turns away from another population in Hausharp. That's a really good city. So I think, you know, the first thing you should do when you get, when you start up and you have your initial settler, take it to an area where you have a lot of fertile lands because you want the second city to be growing quickly, I would think, and take over the land around it. Because once you get to five or ten in population, you grow one out. I don't know if you grow again when you get to 15. We'll find out here. Okay, end of turn. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes here. Game is great, and I heard that the developers are encouraged by the feedback they have gotten, so they're going to be, uh, uh, it sounds like almost they're thinking about other ideas for other games as well, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. Okay, let's move up our Phantom Warrior up here, and then over to the city. It's going to be a garrison unit, I think, right? Although, is that effective? Uh, what was it I, I thought about the these units? What was the benefit here? They are impervious to everything but if you do get a hit they only have one hit point and then they're gone so i don't know it's like hmm you know how much do you i mean how much are you going to be um relying on them right you need some other units as well which we do have we have a couple of uh, swordsmen as well okay let's see we gained another experience level here spearman spearman is our go-to uh, garrison unit another spearman and a Slinger Squad gained level 1 in Halsha. We can upgrade them probably, right? We have a Sawmill there. I'm sure... Maybe we don't. And then another level there. Okay, now, can I... If I escape out of that, can I upgrade these? We do have... Oh, uh, no, we don't have anybody in the city. They're sitting outside here. Right. So we can't do anything there. Can't upgrade. Wait a minute. Light Cav 16. Hmm... They can't take out our bow, Militia 20, Spear Militia 20, and then the walls, they're going to die, right? Yeah, they're already injured here from before, <clears throat> so they can't do it. I don't think so. We'll leave them there, and we're defending our worker here. Yeah, so nothing happens to him. What about our scout cab now? I want to get closer here, I think. Let's go back. So now we're over here. We can see the edge, uh, the limit of the city there. I don't think we can actually reach anything yet now. It's under control there, right? There's the army. The worker, is the worker done? I don't think he is done. Let's go hit through here first out. <clears throat> we got a worker from uh, Agro Capital. Remember, you don't want to have them by themselves. So how do we do that? Let's view the city. What do we have in the city? Can we take anybody with us? Not really. We have a priest doing research there. We have four of these spearmen. They are quite experienced now. We probably should have... Well... We do have ranged units here. Hmm, yeah. So, uh, shrine two turns. We could get... It's so cheap here, right? Because we are making a lot... Our production here is fantastic. If we get a swordsman, longbowman... They're tempting. Only two turns to get those. Upkeep is two, though. we got to keep that in mind, because we're making eight. Not a ton. The crossbowman is better against uh, against armored units, right? They do... Well, there's some bonus they get against uh, armor, I think. <clears throat> mm, uh, yeah. Five of great force. Okay. Strong against armor. Slower to reload than bows. So every other time, right? Maybe a longbowman would be helpful to get there. Maybe one swordsman and one longbowman to escort that worker let's do that what else do we have enemies in our domain oh yeah he's over here we know that 
Uh, companies waiting to move. The scout company, I go ahead and move. And what else? Five units to move. We got that farm there. Okay, that's even more we can do in, right, in Halshaw. So Halshaw is uh, only three turns away from getting another population. That is great. Getting a worker there as well, then a shrine. Okay, so we're doing good on workers. So what do we do here then? Uh, they've been upgraded. Uh, it still shows the slinger symbol here, doesn't it? Maybe that's a little bug. But anyway, that's the one I upgraded to Bowman. You can see that right here. Um, so if we wait with them here, there is a... Well, that's our worker. Yeah. We could take out this one. Don't really need to. That worker is there. Should we move out? If I move out, though... Yeah, I have quite a few here. Quite a few units, right? And we have wooden walls there. Okay, we'll move them out. Although it's only bowmen. Hmm. There's nothing there that can really protect us, you know? When they run up, we're going to fire, sure. But then once they get into hand-to-hand -hand combat, no good. So let's get a swordsman out there as well. Maybe two. Feels like it's really important to overwhelm the enemy, right? He's sitting here right now. And I kind of want to go out and protect him because if somebody shows up. But, but, if we do that, can 20 bowmen really make a difference there? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe it will deter some of the enemy to show up. Okay, we'll try it. We'll, we'll take our bowmen here and move them over there. Let them sit there. And I think, oh wait, oh yeah, all the way up to uh, uh, population 4, you don't need to have anything here, right? No, we're reducing everything is fine. We are 12 turns away from getting another population anyway, so we're cool with that. We're great. Uh, who else? He is dumb. That's right. Uh, what else do we have here? We have more. What is this? Fertile plain? Yeah. Over here, too. Now, again, nobody's protecting them, but I have eyes on this far out. We'll go over there. And they are... Well, we're going to wait, right? Aren't we? Who else is next here? Is that worker done? No, he's not done. Three turns. Oh, okay, there we go. You can see that right there. So we're going to wait here, I think. Yeah, let's just wait. We'll see. And uh, the scout here. There's a city here, right? A city there, down here as well. And I know how easy they can be taken out, but we want to get an eye on them. Move closer a little bit. They might just get right out. 20 Slingers, 10 Swordsmen. Oh, we can attack that. That's only uh, population 1 anyway. Hmm. There's the worker. But I'm going to wait. Didn't I say to wait here? Because I'm going to get the Swordsmen, Longbowmen. Yeah, we'll wait. Let's wait with them. That's the worker. Yep. Let's go ahead and wait one turn. The Bowman. <clears throat> yeah, you can wait here. I think that's all I want to do, right? End the turn. Okay, nobody attacked. And I think those <clears throat> light, the light cav up here, but they should be uh, 16 still. Oh, okay. They're not gaining anything back. Is that because they are um, not in their own terrain? Either they are not in their own city or not in their own area, you know, outside their own city. But they still have 16. Our phantom warriors, we can go over here. Let them take over in the city of Ebon Shield. Okay, that's fine. And uh, what do we have? A worker here now. Okay, yeah, that worker. Um, I have one worker here. What am I getting in Halshaw again? A shrine. One income and point one income per citizen. And reduced, that's right. Unrest is reduced by one. That's huge. That's going to be fine, right? Uh, Well, we're going to have one turn of unrest. Okay, well, I can probably handle that. In that case, what do we do? Do we get a spearman? No. We get a swordsman that can that can help this. Yeah, let's get a, let's get two swordsmen there. Actually, one longbowman and one swordsman. It's kind of expensive. Can we get longbowman? No, we cannot. We don't have sawmill here. No, we don't. That's what I need, right? Oh, I don't have any forest here. Okay, well, we'll get two workers, two swordsmen. So having two swordsmen for a um, 
a worker is not maybe very effective because you pay one gold in upkeep. It's going to cost you quite a bit, but on the other hand, it takes time to get new workers, so you don't want to waste it, right? Oh, we gained our research, Conjuration Level 3. What does that mean? Well, I know we have Astral, right? And we have Nature, and we have Holy. We don't have Death or Chaos, right? Those are the two that are missing. So Conjuration, now we're going for Level 4, 38 turns away. What can we get here? Insect Swarm. Summon the Swarm Insects to aid the caster in battle. How does that aid the caster? Insect swarm. Large ants, large bees. Can we can we find them here? Large ant. To aid. I mean, it gets just aid, you know. Help them out, fight for them. Ants boosted to a natural size aggression by magic. Large ants can get inside armor and pierce flesh. Can get inside armor and pierce flesh. Okay. Insect bite one. Doesn't seem like a ton but you know you get uh, quite a few of them kind of overwhelm me the enemy okay we can do that we can try it out to see what it's like but that's level two we don't have level two or level three or level three now we need that archbishop right and we can't go past level one in nature or astral can we but summon angels over here probably a very good one we have to have an archbishop i think we do anyway can we upgrade our um, priest to Archbishop? Now that I think about it. Don't we have one... Is it a monk here, though? No, it's a priest. If I select him... No, not available, but maybe he could be upgraded. If we check out the Archbishop... I think it's Arch... Let's go check out the priest and see what it says. Yeah, upgrade to Archbishop. That's right. Okay, we can do that. Hmm. That's interesting. Let's look at the Archbishop. So you can see here we can get level 1 in nature, level 1 in astral. But if we go to Archbishop, Archbishop, yeah, he's level 3. <clears throat> he can get a bonus path, you know, but that's it. They can't really be uh, increased. So we don't have, I don't think we have an opportunity to get anything past level 1 in astral or nature. We're going with holy, right? That's what we're doing. So, Getting level 3 seems very useful. What do we need? Academy of Magic. Academy of Magic. I've looked at this before. University Mages Guild. We have Mages Guild. But I don't think we have University. Uh, what do we need? Architects Guild and Library. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think I saw the Architects Guild here. Didn't we see it here? No, not here. What do we have? Library. We don't have Architect's Guild here. We have Mage's Guild. We need a Library and uh, Architect's Guild. I don't see my uh, the Library here either. Let's double check that Library. That's, that's why I didn't do it before. It seemed like it was a big effort to get them. Which, you know, makes sense. They're good. Liberty, yeah. <laughs> library. Um, there it is. Uh, we need to have Uni no Mason's Guild and Scribe. Okay, the Scribe. Hmm, not the shrine, the scribe. That's where that comes in. So maybe we should start working on that now. Scribe. And then after that, we'll see what we get. Okay, let's do that. And didn't we have actually here? Somewhere I saw... There's the Architect's Guild. Ooh, four per turn. Yeah, to get an Archbishop, you have to have a pretty good income, right? Mm-hmm. Then we get University if you have a library. Okay, so in library we can get from Scribe. Okay, so the Architect's Guild. What was the prereq for that? I just want to see Architect's Guild. Mason's Guild only. Oh, that's it. So shouldn't we have that here? Did, am I missing something? <clears throat> Let's look. I don't see it here. Architect's Guild. That means we either have it or we can't get it. Do I already have it? Wizard's Tower. Nope. I don't see it. Mason's Guild we have. Hmm. I wonder why. Well, we have it over here in Halshaw, so maybe we can focus on getting that the next step, the university then. If you get the library, so scribe, then library. Actually, we'll do that here too then. Let's get the scribe. There. We'll do that. Ten turrets. Okay. Well, I should be good. We gained a new worker in Hausha. 
Okay, so there is that other worker. Um, we have one here. No, one here. Yeah, that's right. One here and one there. So he's doing improvements there. We'll go down here this way then. We have quite a few workers now. I can't really protect all of them. Um, what are we doing? We have two turns away from that. Phantom Wars, why don't you go into the city and defend it? Um, we have to be careful here. Neutral army. Um, <clears throat> we're going to sneak left there. We're going to stay here. In the capital, we have that... Agro capital, we have the work. I'm still waiting to get the swordsman and longbowmen here. Yeah, we are. So we're going to wait with that worker. Yep, one more turn. And uh, move orders. That would be the scout. I'm going to go ahead and move. And who else do we have? The worker here. Oh, are we done? No, one more turn. One more turn there. And the priest. Did I change him? I did. Okay, we'll go for research again. Oh, I need to change that research, right? Uh, I don't think I want to have a level 4 before I have anything in evocation. Yeah, I have level 1. Let's look at that. If we go level, yeah, level 1. So let's go to level 2, maybe. And I gave us hold person. We can't do the other ones, right? Hmm. It's teleport. That's probably why I didn't do it. Enchantment. If we go to level 3, we can get these. Industry, law and order, zealotry. Is that uh, industrial productive? This might be interesting, right? It's a buff, cost two. We can do it. Uh, city effects, uh, yeah, so in, yeah, we gain industry. It looks like a typo almost. No, maybe not. I mean, this is a key of some kind, but uh, I don't know what CE means. Okay, anyway, so uh, we get some benefit there. What about law and order? Law and order. Okay, same thing there. More peaceful and orderly. So less unrest, right? Yep, must be. Let's go for enchantment. We'll do that. Seven units to go. Um, what are you doing here? This is a Fertile Plains looking up here. Fertile Plains is good. It's very good. We'll do that. And then the Scout Cavalry. Can only go one. Oh, Zone of Control. There are two units here. Okay, we'll go here. We cannot see the city yet. I can move in here with the army. Oh, wait. There, all of them move in here, right? And now, let's see what we have. Wooden walls. And uh, archdruids. Hmm, archdruid. That would be like an archbishop. Three. Bow militia, 30. Horse militia, 10. Spear militia, 20. Sword militia, 20. Plus, they have an, three animists, 10 bowmans, three druids, 10 light cab, and 15 wolves. Would be a tough battle, I would think, right? Because it will take us a while to fight through that. 30 bow militia. They can fire. 10 bowmen, that's 40 units firing us as we take on the wall with with our bears. 25 bears, they're pretty good. I don't want to lose them, but uh, we could do that. We could give it a, a shot. Yeah, see, our fan uh, fanatic is not gaining that last population back, right? We're still doing healing in the back. There's basically unicorns in the bears we are really using here, right? Where am I... Uh, uh, the fanatics are here. Yeah, that's right. And then we have these units in the middle. Okay, well, that's fine. And we'll go for end turn. Oh, there's a unit that came out from the city. Did you see that? Hmm. Right here. 15 wolves. They left the city. We'll, we'll attack them. If you look at them here, we could, we could actually take out the worker. That might be more useful. This wolf does what? Very pretty weak on dodge, doesn't do very much damage, but has two attacks, four and six. So one is slashing, uh, slash one is piercing. Natural armor is very low. They're not very good, but they are whole. They're immune to holy extra damage. Arctic survival, want survival. They are depending on the situation. They can be good, right? They have armor two, and then health eight. So not very good. If you compare that to the swordsman 13 health 10 armor here 17 damage yeah they should not I mean we should be definitely we should definitely be uh, in better shape against them let's go ahead and attack them we'll attack them and then we'll uh, 
view the battle. So we're firing here. We have the wolves coming in. We're holding back. We're rushing forward with bears and unicorns on the flank. And we have empower. Oh, we got the empower animal. Yeah. And if we take damage here, we might not recover that, right? In their territory. I don't know why he left. He shouldn't have left there. But anyway, we lost nobody. Great. And they took uh, 15 damage, all of them. Okay, good. So that means we are now... That's Falskar. That's another city down there. Five in population. Let's take that city first, maybe. Hmm. Anyway, we gained level four now. Swordsman, and that's why attacking, I guess, is very good, right? Gaining more experience, you get a boost to your stats. I think every level maybe goes up with the attack, defense, those kind of things. We got a shrine. Shrine, that's the one that reduces unrest. Great. And we got a monk in El Reveal. Did I? I did a monk there? Okay. And what else? Phantom Warriors waiting to move. Did I tell them? Uh, wait a minute. I'm going to cancel the move. We're going to see what they're going to do. They are in this... No, they are here. Okay, I gave them the order. Okay, go in there. Skeletons, 20. Um, He can... He's not going to beat our units, I don't think, right? We can double check that. The skeletons are vulnerable to holy, which is what we have. Like the unicorns doing holy damage. <clears throat> That's the only one I think that does special holy damage. And they're also vulnerable to piercing. But uh, piercing ignore chance, which I'm not sure what that means. Hmm. Anyway, I think that's pretty good. What else do we have? Uh, we have scouts are waiting to move. Yep, that's you in the north. Let's go ahead and move. He can move further. Actually, I could have gone... Hmm. Wait a minute. He can't... There we go. Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> so if you say move, and it's partial move... Then, even though you have more moves left, it doesn't actually show. So that might be a little bug there. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> so we have this guy. I'm going to go down this way, I think. And the worker is going, going to go down here. That's where we have that fertile plain. What else do we have? Ebon shield? Um, you are going to wait here. Maybe a waste for phantom wars. <clears throat> I think... Well, I don't know. If gold or... Mana is more important from a maintenance perspective, right? So let's do that farm here. And we are now one turn away, okay, from being done there. Then we'll go and attack the skeletons, I think. There's a the scout. I could attack that worker, just so he's not annoyingly in the way. He's not moving. We'll attack. We'll see. We should win. Yeah, we did. So he's done. Great. And uh, what do we have? The worker here. We're waiting, right? No, I got that. I got that. No, not monk. Still waiting here. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Swordsman, longbowman, right. And then here, this worker is done. We got that. So that's oh, um, that's actually food that we are getting here, right? Now we are seven turns away. Yeah, we're say we are plus three now. These are the best ones. Let's go continue down here and get more. We'll move all of them down there. And then we can put another farm there. I think I have to. And this worker, yeah, we're waiting with him. And, yep, you can wait as well. Let's move closer here a little bit. There. And there's another city. Okay, what do you have here? Oh, we have what? Fanatics 10. Slingers 10, Swordsman 10, the Animist, Bow Militia, Spear Militia, Population 4. What do we have in a capital? Population 5. They have nowhere near what we have. Falskar has quite a few, though. And uh, Monk in Elbury Vale. Why did I do the Monk here? What else do we have in the city? That's all I have. I did a Monk. Well, I mean, it's not bad. He can do... Um, to what reason did I have? Because he can do rituals, right? So we're making an extra 10. So it seems like we could get something like bears, right? Those bears are pretty good. I like them a lot. They cost how much? Is it just a one? Uh, oh, wait. We're not going to summon them quite yet. I can do it right away, but 
Let me check them out. What's the alpha bear? No, bear, regular bear. Um, melee one in upkeep there. Yeah, I like them. So if we do that, hmm, that's the monk. I can also do research, but they only provide, I uh, think, one, right? One in research, yeah. That's not very much. We're making 21.2 uh, right now. It might be better to do these, because with 10.3, I feel I can afford it. And then we can get something we can throw out there and give it to our army. Let's get another bear, because I have a feeling we're going to be using up the bear, so to speak. Great, and they can defend as well. Uh, a squad has been summoned, and we have two more armies left. We can move there and there. They might be attacked, but okay. And what about my army here? Oh, we're done. Okay, we're done with him. Go down and attack here. Yeah, no moves left. Okay, that skeleton left over there in Ebon Shield. And uh, let's build. Good. And we're done now. Okay, so we did gain food here. What do, are we actually making now? Four. It takes three more turns to get another population. We have three right now. We want to get to five to expand out here. Once we do that, we can get that uh, lumber yard. Maybe the sawmills requires that too. Is that what it was? Sawmill does it require. It requires one forest. That's why we couldn't get it in... Hulshaw doesn't have any forest. <laughs> okay. Let's look at our stuff here. We got a uh, swordsman. We need a longbowman as well. Then we're good to go with our worker. City grew in size. Oh, Hulshaw is size 13 now. We can get to 15. Takes 11 more turns. Ah, it's a long ways away. Oh, we had a battle. Um... Wait a minute. Demon fell. Oh, they attacked us there. Let's view the battle. There was nothing there. I was leaving the city. That's stupid. Okay. Um, stupid on my part, right? So they took it down one notch now. One population left. And I'm over here. Um, it might be a good idea to bring back the bears, maybe here. Now that we have them. Let's take the bear. Move him over there. Maybe we can save it, Demon Phil. If they attack again, I don't know if the city goes away or not. But that was inconvenient, to say the least. Oh, that's stupid. Okay, well, we'll uh, take this one here. Oh, five turns away. Oh, wait, did I just cancel him? I think I did. Okay, we're done here, though. So now, Ebon Shield, what are we doing? The horses are good. We're using these. Yeah, let's do another one. Take him up there, and then build another farm. Ah, uh, city's been ransacked and damaged by monsters. Yeah. Right, so they just attacked Orc Bowmen, Warriors, and Crosswomen, 10 each. I don't know where they went. Hmm. Not these, but maybe it spawned from here. And the scout, we're getting another scout here. Yeah, I'm gonna go up there instead. That's the bowman, they're gonna wait. You go down there. And now, what do we have here? We have one swordsman, we're waiting for the longbowman here, right? I think we are, yeah, longbowman here. there and uh, here we have our army oh yeah we're gonna be oh he's building he's creating that good that farm we have three moves left here that's red Lugano four quite a few units there wooden walls three grave diggers we'll move up this way hopefully nobody will uh, attack us there monks um did I oh I can create another bear if I wanted to you know what let's do that actually Another bear, we put him right here. And then that bear can continue. You the squad, because I think they can move right away, yeah. Oh, that's great. And then our army is here. Now, I'm going to go protect it with the bears. Ten bears should be fine. There are no walls, but ten bears are tough. We'll go down instead and attack here, I think. 
And we can attack, uh, yeah, we can attack this turn. Oh, look at that. Let's see if we can take it. Five. 45 wolves here. Bow militia, spear militia, and sword militia. Wooden walls. And I think we can pillage. Hmm. Um, I think we're good. Fanatics on the left. Bears on the right. Unicorns on the left. Charge. We're charging right away. But the fanatics are holding back. Right. And in the middle, we're holding back as well. And our swordsmen will rush forward. I think that's the way to go, right? And we'll see, though, because when this is a wall. Crossbowmen fire and hold. Yeah, yeah. We'll see if that works. Let's go. And don't look at the information. I'm not going to look at it. I'm going to look at the view battle. Okay, if I pause real quick, what do I have? So there, here's the wall. Wooden gate. Well, I mean, here's the gate. 250 hit points. Right. So fire. If you have a fire spell, it would be good to use that. And they have these uh, bowmen, is it? Bow militia up there. And then units behind there as well. Lots of that. Oh, these are wolves. Right. Spear militia. Okay. Well, we'll see what the what damage we can do. We should see the bear, the bears and the unicorns come in here and attack. And they're going to take on the wall. Let's see. So they're going to take damage here. And I think you can see here we're going to be healed. They're not firing quick enough for them to block us. Plus, they're firing back here. And then we're healing here. So our unicorns are attacking. Oh, the bears are attacking. And we can't fit that many... That's the problem, I guess. But it's not bad. I don't think they have any healers here. So. Okay. I have to turn down the volume. Okay, come on. Take down the wall. Not nearly as tough here, wooden wall, I think. It, it stops you for a few turns. And the main benefit here is that you can have a couple of strong units in the back holding the gate for a long time, right? Now, hopefully we get healed. Yep, we do get healed. So having the healers in the back, very, very useful. We'll see here if we even get injured here because of the absolute healers that keep coming. Keep attacking the wolves. And we're taking out those wolves, right? But we haven't lost... Have you lost any unit there? Try to keep an eye on these here. Right? These four. One unicorn and three bears. Okay, there we go. Five bears now. One is almost dead. This one. But he got a little bit of healing. Not that much. We have a couple of battle healers and some... Healers. I lost a unit or two now, I think. So they keep firing here, but we also have uh, ranged units, so we do damage as well. Did they leave? They're routed. Okay, some of them are routed. Let's see. Yeah, no, they're pretty much all routed. So now we took, took them out. Okay, good. So what ended up happening here? We lost three bears. That's it. Why? Because we have the healers in the back. Maybe one more battle healer would do it. We would be in very good shape. That's not very many to have died. We killed 83. Okay. So that's False Scar. Now it's down, well, it's at 4. It was 5, right? So now this city, and this city is pretty good, right? What do we have here? Granary, Scribe, Marketplace, Harbor? I haven't seen the harbor before. Provides facilities for ships to dock. Haven't used any ships. 1 income plus uh, point 0.1 income. And I think we went up now. 10.8, right? Plus one food on shallow water tiles. And then we have more food. Yeah, on, on food and whatnot, or not, we gained more. Uh, no, I mean on fish, we gained more food. You can build a dockyard with Mason's Guild. Oh, yeah. And you know what? I read somewhere in a discussion. Somebody was saying it's really good to build a city next to water. Uh, I guess it does provide some bonus, maybe? Let's see. Mm, fertile Plains Road Farm. That's just fertile. But maybe there's some kind of modifier in the city itself. I don't know. Maybe depending on what you build here. Let's see if we can build something special here. Nothing yet, at least. We have the harbor. Income and then food. And then, yeah. So basically, food here. Okay. I mean, it's not bad. And we can certainly bring down a, um, a worker here. Let's take a look at it. And it's doing pretty well. But you know what? I'm out of time, so I think I have to stop it here for now. But I think we're doing a good job here on yellow. Uh, after we 
kind of sorted out the situation over here. We can attack uh, purple over there too, I would think, right? But anyway, we'll do more of this next time, guys. Come back then, and we'll play more of Wizard Warfare. And if you do like this, give me a like, and uh, I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.